This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Events are the most important part of Piggy build mode. Without them, build mode would be really stale. So far in build mode, I've made entirely new game modes, thanks to the events just existing in the game, such as Knife Party, Feeding Time. Minitoon actually played that one and he had this to say. Hey, wait, look over there, look over there, look, look. even Five Nights at Freddy's. Although to be fair, a lot of people have made that too. But there's another element to build mode that's just as important. In fact, this category of things in build mode can also be considered to be events. What are they, you ask? NPCs. Like events, each NPC plays a role in puzzle solving, acting as an obstacle, or even working as a mechanic. However, there's just one problem. We don't have nearly enough. You might not have noticed, but each NPC actually has a specific role. Grandma is basically an extra bot that you could spawn in the map, but it moves slower. Soldier piggies act as scattered enemy obstacles, and the chasing hand can send players back to a certain area. By the way, did you know that if the owner stands on top of the chasing hand before the game starts, it can actually pick them up right as the game loads in, which is perfect for owner-only rooms. In today's video, I'm going to not only be discussing which NPCs need to be in build mode, but also what they should be able able to do mechanically and what kinds of new game mode possibilities this could open up. Piggy build mode is all about building your own custom maps with the blocks and items that you've collected from seasons and just what's provided in general. So with that building and collecting aspect in mind, another game that really just lets me build teams with great customization is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid's a turn-based RPG set in a fantasy world filled with magic, mythical creatures, and powerful champions. You can gather a team of champions, battle through the game's various campaigns, dungeons, and PvP battles, and I actually want to go over my top three favorite Valentine's Hero designs from this event. Alright, so for number three, I definitely have to say it's Minaya. I think we all know who this is referencing, but the execution, pun not intended, is really creative. I love the mini cape on the back, which fits perfectly in theme. So for number two, I gotta say Cupidus, because it was the skin that stood out to me very quickly from the rest. I love how clean the armor is, and also the color scheme, and the heart sword. You can't forget that. And finally, number one has to be Venus. I love the design for this outfit with the giant dress while still looking like a battle uniform, you know? Alongside having this menacing royal appearance. But that's actually not all. There's love in the air this month in the world of Raid. And new players can experience a special Valentine's Day themed adventure with the Raid Love Quest. Just download Raid from the link in the description, copy your in-game player ID, and then go to this website on screen. Make sure you enter your player ID and then the quest begins. Play one of the Valentine's themed mini games for a chance to win some great in-game and real life prizes, including Valentine's themed raid champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand dollars. Use this promo code to get a small Valentine's gift from raid. So go download Raid Shadow Legends with the link at the top of the description, the pinned comment, or just use this QR code and you'll actually get all of these unique bonuses, including the epic champion Chonaru. This is going to be a available for 30 days for new players only. So what are you waiting for? Go and jump into the action now. Let's start out with the NPC I'm sure 90% of you wouldn't think of. Most people don't even know its name in fact, and that name is Friend. Friend is a one of a kind NPC that appears in the port chapter. Now let me explain what it would do in build mode. Just like in the chapter, this would be the fastest NPC in the game, outpacing even the player's movement speed. Now that is terrifying. Like like a crawl trap, it has the height to fit into vents, and it has a special mechanic. Just like in the port chapter, it would go after the nearest player, like a bot, and once it kills them, it would disappear. This NPC should have a settings gear icon that would allow you to set the amount of players that you want this NPC to be able to kill. And this setting should also appear in the spawn block for it as well. This NPC would be terrifying in Five Nights at Freddy's maps especially. The next NPC that should be in the game is Tio. Now hold up, I know that literally everybody says this, but they never say specifically what it should do. First of all, this NPC would have two modes. The first mode is exactly what everyone says they want. A Tio bot that moves as fast as the player and will chase them around after it spots them. However, an even more important element is its second mode, which I like to call wall mode. Just like in the beginning of the true ending battle, Tio would slowly walk towards the player 
acting as, well, a moving wall, which will kill players if they end up falling behind. Not only should this be a settings gear icon, but you should be able to control where Tio moves, similar to what you can do for the cutscene NPCs, except you would be able to control how it turns in different directions, instead of, of course, making it go into just only a straight line. Let me tell you right now, this would be the perfect motivator in death run maps. All right, now the last NPC that would be important to Piggy build mode is a robotic friend we recently met in one of the latest chapters, and that's Dukara. Dukara's unique ability to only target players who don't follow its facial pattern would make it an incredibly fun NPC to use for maps. Think about it. One of the most common maps people make in Piggy build mode in terms of mini games is Red Light Green Light from Squid Game, and you have an NPC built just for that. Imagine using this NPC in Five Nights at Freddy's maps too, I mean, since it's a robot after all, and all of the possibilities it could bring. Alongside, of course, the previous two NPCs. What do you guys think? Want more quick and quality Roblox content? Subscribe!